good, huh? Yeah, so this is what we do for the uh, mini medals. Now scram! Yeah, I'm going. <clears throat> oh, the trade shop. Hello there. If you like trading items, then you'll love the swap shop. Items on offer change all the time, so be sure to pop by regularly and see if anything's got what you want. And if there's something you want, but don't have the right items on the train, don't despair. You can save a single offer for later. There should be a trophy where we do 30 trades, so we're just going to do whatever right now. Hooray! Yes, hooray. So I'm just going to do this to hope and get that trophy. I would assume that the trades carry over for NG+. Plus. Hooray! Absolutely. Actually, don't Absolutely. save that. It doesn't really matter. What's up, Desdemona? Ah, perfect timing. They're ready for us over at the Pinnacle. Shall we get moving? The Queen's already been in waiting. Yeah, I'm on it. I think the last thing we're going to do is probably that... A really awful map, or maybe we'll stop before. I'm not sure. We'll probably get the worst map in the game out of the way. Hmm. Interesting. If I understand correctly, then... A seer clad in black appeared in your realm, having journeyed from the Beastlands to deliver a warning. He told you that Dunisia would wage a brief war against Harbor, only for the two realms to then join forces and turn their combined armies against Ingenia. Hmm. I had heard rumors of some manner of black-robed seer roaming the Seven Realms. I had rather fancy there might be some truth to your tale. I had my doubts, of course. At first, I thought his prophecy too fanciful to be true. But then everything came to pass, exactly as he had predicted. And so, I ordered my guards to be on the lookout for foreign invaders. I see. But hang on, this man in black, whoever he is, how could he have known for sure that Harbin Dunisia would suddenly start fighting? Hmm. He couldn't. But what if, instead of foreseeing the war, which seems impossible, he orchestrated it? Perhaps he didn't predict the future at all. Perhaps he encouraged it to happen. Hmm. We cannot know for certain if this is the case. But I think it's safe to surmise that this war was indeed his doing. As for Ingenia's embroilment in the hostilities, I dare say the same is also true. But why would anyone do that? I don't know. Or care. All that matters to me is that this so-called prophet may know who killed my father. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps he even did it himself. Princes are... I would ask you not to jump to conclusions. After all, there are still many things that we do not know. For the time being, Your Radiance, would you not agree that finding this man in black must be our first priority? Indeed. Lady Desdemona, pray take your young companions and journey to the Beastland. You must visit all three realms, Alkazam, Kadava, and Claw, and speak with their respective monarchs. Perhaps they will know something of this seer. Sire. Forgive me, Your Radiance! <gasps> Lady Testimona. What is it? Has something happened? <sighs> yes, my lady. We have just received an urgent report. The armies of Alkazam have invaded the realms of Kadava and Claw. What? They've taken over the whole of the Beastlands. <gasps> What's going on? Goddess, what on earth is happening to our world? An all-out war is about to break. This is bad. Goodness me, I have a frying pan into the fire. I can't believe Alkazam would attack Chlor and Kadava. What's going on in the Beastlands? How about keeping things simple 
for the simple for those of us un unacquainted with all these silly names to start with what are the beastlands beastlands are the three kingdoms north of accordia alkazam Chlor, and kadava the conditions up there are a little too harsh for humans that's why only monsters live there nothing but critters up that way huh sounds a little rough and ready not as much as you might think the kings of the beastlands are wise and fair things are pretty peaceful there usually anyway we should do as this radiant says and head up there we need to find out what's been going on I'm at you for another adventure. Let's hit the road. Wait, the cards are telling me of a terrible battle ahead. We must take care to prepare ourselves properly before we set out. Alright, let's take some time to get ready then. We'll meet at the Northwestern Gate when it's time to sit off. Yo, these cards have the answer. One moment, there is something I wish to say. You were falsely accused and imprisoned at my hand. I owe you an apology. I hope that this may go some way to make making amends. A pep stone? Yeah, that, that's bound to help. Did you feel that? It sent a jolt right through me, and now I feel fired up. Me too. What is this thing? It's called the pep stone. It will focus the fire within you and drive your attention to even greater heights. In doing so, it will open the path to newer and greater abilities. May it aid you on your journey ahead. Wow, thanks, your majesty. Yes, thank you. We'll be, be, we'll be sure to make good use of it. Good. One more thing. The gateway between the Lumberlands and Dunisia has been reopened. There is no more need for suspicion. So safely now, we wish you every success in the Beastlands. I will do my best. So do we just have to, yeah, head through the North No Man's Land? Alright, so we're, we're going to be so close to best girl, but we're definitely not getting to Jessica. Jessica and Angela, because Angela's there too, but we're definitely not getting there. But man, we're going to be so close. See you later, Milnes. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good rest of the day. Thank goodness the misunderstanding with the Queen is all cleared up. I'm still worried about there being a war, though. Because of the prophecy, you mean? Come to think of it. How did the last war start? The one a thousand years ago. It all began with the brothers who ruled our world in those days. That is why we know it, know it as the War of Kings. Sovereign twins from the prophecy. Indeed. Fractos and Yunos, they ruled over the world in harmony for many years. Alas, Fractos gave me in the temptation of the Dark Arts and sought to claim the world for himself. He placed a curse on the Cup of Kings from, from whose goodness flowed the light of harmony and caused it to bubble with dark blackness instead. And so its dark influence spread spite and mistrust, causing war and conflict to spring up across the world. Indeed, Venus gave his life to seal Fractos and blight away. Control of the world passed the seven sages who founded the seven realms. And now the future of those seven realms is threatened by war once more. Much is as it was a thousand years ago. And we gotta do whatever we can to stop things from reaching the point of no return. Leave everything to us. We'll get to the bottom of whatever's going on in the Beastland if it's the last thing we do. We will stop war. Well, hello. Uh, we're taking Maya. And Mina, because we do need a healer. It was written in the stars. And Maribel. Because I love playing as Maribel. So I think we get Zapple from this. Am I okay with this team? I think I am. Uh, give me Dancing Dragons. This is a good, um, lineup for now. So I think it's a good time to get rid of Kassap. Probably for Fire Birth Throw. Why did I not get this sooner? I love that attack. How about quest? The seven realms need your oh, we have lots of new quests. But honestly, we're, as I said, we're gonna just do a bunch of them later. Very few of them involve going out and finding monsters. Wait, I can't zoom anymore. What am I doing? Let me go this way. Alright, we were really close to getting Jessica and Angelo today, so, like, I can't even be upset. We're finally on our way. The Beastlands are on the other side of the area called No Man's Land. There's a wall along the northern edge. Beyond that wall lies the three monster kingdoms, Alkazam, Chlor, and Kadava. Which one do we hit first? Alkazam is the obvious choice. There were the aggressors we need to find out what drove them to war. Agreed. In which case, we're due, we're due north. Right across the middle of No Man's Land. 
Let's head out. Alright, so how long have I been live? We're gonna end stream in like half an hour. I have to go eat. My done. Thanks, Maya. I love Maya. The queen of aerial combat. Ba, 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 ba. What's up, fools? Sizzle. So yeah, we got the queen of aerial combat herself. She's definitely the best airborne. I think they made her even better in this game because in the previous game, she was good. She was definitely the aerial character, airborne fighter. But they made more of her combos bring you airborne without having to jump. So they definitely, they kind of buffed her in this game. Although thinking about it, they buffed everyone because the combat is slightly different. That's a locked chest. We can't get that without the thieves key. Little Dragon Quest 4 track going on right now. I don't think we can go this way. I think this is blocked off for now. If I recall correctly. Can we go that way? I don't remember. I don't think we can. You weren't kidding when you said this place was inhospitable. You had to be crackers to live here. <laughs> well, we're only passing through, so let's not worry about it. Come on, the quicker we get this over with, the quicker we can go home. Lady Desdemona. We must have ran all the way from- He must have ran all the way from Accordia. We have requested to return to the capital at once. It's an emergency. We're receiving reports of the Alkazam army leading the forces of Chlor and Kadava in a march on Ingenia. What? But how'd they manage to mobilize so quickly? The High King has massed the armies of Harba and Ingenia in response. Allied forces are marching to the Great Divide to cut off the monsters advance as we speak. Great Divide? That's on the border between Ingenia and the Beastlands. Your orders are, your orders are to return to Accordia and make ready before the join, joining the Allied armies at the Great Divide. Understood. That's the quickest way to the Great Divide from here anyway. Alright, better hurry. Inform his radiance in the, that the Dunesian army will be joining him as soon as possible. Yes, your highness. Alright, we got our orders. Back to Accordia on the double. So much for exploring this area. I'm not trying to go that way. I lost sense of the camera. Zoom. So yeah, they literally have you go- Oh right, this is old dra- This is older- This isn't Dragon Quest XI. We have to actually zoom with a sky above us. They actually had us go like, oh, new wild zone, and then slightly after, they make you go to a new one. Umberland, it's right next to it, right? Oh, I think these are the character side quests. I know there are side quests that um, focus on characters. I think that's probably the one for Tornico, if I had to guess. We're gonna do those later, though, as well. We we'll need to hurry if we're going to catch up with his radiance and the other armies. The quickest way to the Great Divide is through the northeastern gate and the canyons beyond. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's move out. Calm down, think for once. What if we met outriders from the monster army on the way? Oh, let me guess. Are you telling me we'll need to be prepared before we head out? Fine, let's be quick about it. Now you're talking like a knight. Get ready and we'll meet at the gate. I'm I'm like over leveled and I have really strong weapons should I need to. <laughs> I don't need to uh Repair. Right. Are we all here? Okay, time to make our way to the Great Divide. It's to the east of the Red Rock Ravine. The armies of the High King, Harba, and Ingenia should be waiting for us there. Emphasis on should. There's, saying, there's no saying for sure that they didn't run into the Beastlanders on the way. 
Cards are telling me that they have arrived safe and sound, but they also speak of grave troubles ahead. Ugh, nobody wants to hear your awful, awful predictions, Mina. <laughs> Let's get moving before my miserable sister jinxes us. Wow, Maya is harsh. My turn. Shut up, DualSense controller. <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream soon anyway. By soon, I mean like half an hour. 5.51? Yeah, half an hour. So that'd be uh, 5.21 my time. Look over there. They're being attacked by monsters. Carbon soldiers. Looks like they've attacked, attracted some unwanted company. We may, we may be in a hurry, but we can't turn in a blind eye. Let's get in there and help them. We're still making tons of progress, which I'm happy about. Dude, I'm so hungry. I think we're just gonna do this last uh, this mission, which I think is by far the worst mission in the game. And then that'll be the end of the stream. I think it's a perfect place to end. I mean, that would be a good place to end too, but I really want to make the five hours worth of content. And I can... And since I'm like... I, since this is an NG+, I can definitely fit in one more mission. I think the Red Rock Ravine makes you fight most of the enemies. Because you have to help the soldiers and all that. Come on, Grim Reaper. That's not what I wanted. It's just going for me. On the ground. Beautiful. We have driven the monsters back. Thanks for your assistance. You're with the Harbin army, correct? So what are you doing here? And what of the main force in the king, for that matter? You're not, ma'am. We're merely the stragglers. The main force should be at the Great Great Divide. And already. Apologies, but my men and my my men and I must hurry if we're to catch them up. We're here we hope to see you there. With your permission, ma'am. That shows I really need to eat. We're gonna be late ourselves if we don't hurry. Come on. Ba -ba -ba. We should probably just switch out some weapons. Keep that on her. For Maya, we'll keep the... We'll put the fancy fans on Maya. Because I, the, the next mission, I, I actually hate the next mission. It's the worst. It's terribly designed. The next mission, like, by far. It's actually, like... It's really bad. But we're doing an NG+, plus, so it shouldn't be too hard. But for a first playthrough and a non-NG+, it's bad. It's still bad, probably. Just because... Just for the way it's designed, it's terrible. And it's none other than a tower defense mission, which tower defense missions are very hit or miss. I like that they definitely cut down on the tower defense missions. The first game had so many tower defense, they definitely cut down on them for this game, which I like. They still have them here and there, but they cut down on them by far. Get them dragons. Also, Teresa might get level 20 today, which is surprising. I didn't expect it, but that's good. Dancing dragons. Get a Maya. Imagine how much money I'm gonna have. I have 127k, and I have gold nuggets to sell. I'm aware, I should stop streaming. I'm actually like really famished. Who would have thought a bagel and coffee <laughs> wasn't enough for a early breakfast? The ben the the negatives of streaming like at 12 in the afternoon. I'm not a morning person, so I have to think of something to eat, and it's usually never that filling. Huh, those are Harbins again. And they got company again? What is it with these guys? Well, I don't know about you, but I ain't about to leave them in the lurch. Let's help him out and clobber those Camulo Dinguses. Dinguses? Yeah. I think that's what that said. That felt weird to read, because I would never use those choice of words. What's up? I'm ready for my close-up. Get ready for my ultra dragon form.
Ultra Dragon form. Oh, Hackasaurus is... Guess who's gonna get a taste of my dragon? Oh, I got 20 tension. That's what the pep stone does. It increases the tension number. Dragon time. Yes, blow away. Punish them if you insist. 